There was a man who had four sons. He wanted his sons to learn not to judge things too quickly. So he sent them each on a quest to go and look at a peach tree that was a great distance away. The first son went in the winter, the second in the spring, the third in the summer, and the youngest son went in the fall. When they had all gone and returned, he called them together to describe what they had seen. The first son said the tree was ugly and bent and twisted. The second son said it was covered with green buds and full of promise. The third son disagreed with both of them. He said it was loaded with blossoms and smelled so sweet and looked so beautiful. He said it was the most graceful thing he had ever seen. The last son disagreed with them all. He said it was ripe and drooping with fruit, full of life and of fulfillment. The man then explained to his sons that they were all right because they had seen only one season in that tree's life. He told them that they cannot judge a tree or a person or a community of any kind by only one season. That the essence of who they are and the pleasure and joy and love that comes from that life can only be measured in the end when all the seasons are up. You and I stand this morning at the dawn of a new year, 2012. It will bring us inexorably all the seasons of the earth in their time. So also, it will bring with it all the seasons of the heart. For standing at this turning of time, some stand this morning in the winter of losses, others in the spring of great hope, some in the summer of fruitful bounty, or the fall when we see the harvest, the coming to fulfillment now, maturity really. And the church chooses this day to begin with a celebration of Mary. To honor her is to all the, honor all the seasons of her heart and ours as well. The winter of Mary's life. The peach tree twisted and bent and ugly. It came with the announcement of the pregnancy and the birth of her firstborn. Everything went wrong. Everything from embarrassment to exile as she tried desperately to save his life. Mary's spring, the peach tree filled with green buds and the promise in her life of this tiny human life in those days, as you know, few children survived childbirth. This one did. And everybody, one after another, from shepherd to king, recognized the promise of that tiny life. Mary's summer, the peach tree now full of blossom and so beautiful, so sweet. It was marked by her life in full bloom, a good marriage to a good man and a son she must have been very, very proud of. And Mary's fall. The peach tree now heavy, heavy with fruit, full of fulfillment. It was beginning time to see the first fruits of this new movement her son had begun, almost unknown to himself. And the fire of seeing her son alive 
and seeing her son helping people and making a difference with some of the very wisdom she taught him. Could any mother ask for more? This Christmas gospel says, it tells us that, that Mary pondered, pondered all this, all these seasons of her life. That Mary kept these things, reflecting on them in her heart. That means that she gave each of these seasons in her life and in her relationships their due. Turning them over and over again in her mind to find the grace there. She learned to trust that God was up to something for her sake through them all. She learned to trust that God was up to something for her sake through all the seasons of her heart. This New Year's Day that marks time for us, there's a deep wisdom in that, my friends to take some quiet time today to look over the year we called 2011 with all of its season and treasure them. Treasure them with no regrets and no complaints and just letting them be what they indeed were. Perhaps we felt like 2011 was all winter too much death, too many goodbyes, too much sickness, too many separations, too much loss. What Mary teaches is what is the truth of even these winters in our hearts. And that is that even that belongs. Even winter has its place. The truth is every season matters Every season matters in its own way. And God is up to something, even in the winter. And it falls to us to trust that, to trust that it is all part of what is making us into our own best self all the time. And if we give up, if we give up on life, if we give up on each other, if we give up on community, just because it's winter, it's winter now, we will miss the promise of our springs and the beauty of our summers and the fulfillment of our falls. Let's not let the pain of one season destroy the joy of all the rest. Let's not judge all of life by this most difficult season. In my tenth year of being a priest, I'd spend a big part of every Thursday that was my day off at the time in a beautiful park in West County called Queenie Park. And I'd go there in the morning to jog and I'd sit on an old dock that extended out into this quiet lake out in the back of the park. And as I sat there again and again absorbing nature through all of its seasons, I found them working on me unknown to myself as if God were speaking through them to me. The tenth year of my priesthood was the same year my mom died. But I kept going there on my day off even though she didn't live nearby anymore. I kept going there and to that dock and hang over my, dangle my feet over the lake and I was watching the seasons go by throughout that year, the winter into spring, into summer, and into fall. And I'd watch those seasons come and go, and I've got to tell you, God taught me so much. God taught me so much about life and about love, sitting there again and again through the seasons. The dock is long gone now, 
20 plus years ago, this was. But when I still get a chance to jog that way, I think about how much I learned and how I learned through the seasons that love was there. Love was right there in the middle of winter even. So I'd ask you to take a moment and like Mary, I'd ask you to ponder, ponder the seasons of your own heart now, all of them that are a part of who you are right now. Where was winter for you this past year? How did it leave you or any relationship in your life that matters to you? Cold. Harsh. time when you felt like you or some young love was beginning to bud, that time when you felt the promise of life and of love itself. you find the season of summer? When were you most alive and involved and going strong? that you were having an impact on someone or on something. You see, each of those seasons is a part of who you are now. Everyone belongs. We stand at the beginning of a new year, you and I. The seasons of the earth and the seasons of our hearts will come and they will go. And the one who is love will be part of each, working in each, for our sake. God was there all the time. God will be there.
so the church invites us to respond to God's presence in our lives in all the seasons by professing together the creed we call the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Standing at the beginning of this new year, let us gather into our hearts and pray from the needs of the world, of our own families, and of ourselves. 